Hello and welcome once more to Rogue Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 9th of April and this time I have some news for you regarding Don Matrick. Yes, I'm sure you all remember him as he left for Zonga a little while ago, but not too long ahead in time, Zonga has now announced that Don Matrick who of course was acting as CEO at Zanga, is leaving the company and will no longer have a position on their board of directors. This is really weird. He's not really been at Zanga that long. I mean, yeah, it's been a couple of years, but it's not even been three years. Of course, he joined in July of 2013. So it's been a couple of years, sure, but seems a bit short to me. Still, the former CEO and Zanga founder, Mark Pincus, will once again be resuming his post as CEO and all that good stuff. However, Matrick did have a little bit of a statement in which he said, quote, I believe the timing is now right for me to leave as CEO and let Mark lead the company into its next chapter, given his passion for the founding vision and his ability to couple our mobile progress with Zanga's unique strengths. And Mark Pincus had a little bit of a statement as well, and he basically said that they came to this decision together and it was apparently super amicable. And he also went on to say, quote, But it's been two years and we are still not winning as a company on the level we had hoped and think we can be. We need to move fast and we need to act a little bit more as a startup by focusing more on entrepreneuring and speed than on structure and management. Now, Matrick, I don't think, is too upset by this because, well, his CEO package at Zonga was, well, kind of crazy. It's worth $19.3 million for his first year and $50 million over three years. Now... That's quite a lot of money, but obviously he has left over after a really short period of time. To be honest, two years is not really that long, to be honest with you. Not in the grand scheme of things, given that he was at Microsoft for six years, you kind of get my point. And obviously the previous CEO is once again resuming his post. Obviously, John Matrick has walked away with a rather large pay packet, and I don't think he's going to be too upset by that. But it does make me think that something's happened, or basically they just didn't see the results they wanted, and were like, you know, come you leave please and he was like okay cool I don't know it seems like there was something more going on here but perhaps I'm reading too much into it I don't know anyway that's me done thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time